I I kind of feel grounded. Hello everyone, I'm Maryam Abdinur and I'm an alumni of Girls Voices for Change. Uh, today I want to share with you in a short video what life looks like here in this part of the world, uh, in Jinja, Uganda, during this uh, pandemic. I'm apparently at home and I'm certain most of the people in my community are also at home because um, schools and workplaces have been closed. I, I kind of feel grounded and whenever i really really have to go out i quite feel guilty like what if you bring infections home what if this and that happens but um you i'm really using this time as uh self-development and also reading many books that are bought that i've been wanting to read for so long but did not get time for it um these are the books i'm reading now so this one is called uh Tough times never last, but tough people do by Robert. So I'm reading this book to pass time. And not only to pass time, but to develop myself intellectually. Life is quite different for me now that I'm at home and my siblings are also at home compared to just last week. So like at home, we spend our time mostly watching movies together or um, on our phones or just enjoying doing activities that were previously mundane to us, such as doing house chores and cooking. As a Muslim person, I read the Quran as a source of inspiration and source of uh, strength to keep me pushing forward and also to keep me positive um, amidst all the fears in my community. Even the food vendors make sure they provide sanitizers to their customers. People are educating themselves on this COVID-19 pandemic and they made sure they stay up to date, which is actually the first step to curb it is spread. To all the members of Girls Voices for Change, I know this is a hard, hard moment for us and I know that we all have fear within us but i want to urge all of you to be positive and also keep positivity around us spread positivity i want all of us to just follow the guidelines that the who has set for us to keep washing our hands and to stay inside to minimize the spread of this infection and just be hopeful and if there's one good thing that this horrible virus has done it has brought the world together and it has made us realize that it's not just an individual challenge but something that the whole world is sharing.